Ipco Software, a complete software provider. Not only do we provide software products catering a wide area that covers integration, analytics, complex event processing, and BPM, but our professional services group can also implement your systems, solving your business problems with our proven solutions. And we even manage your solutions for their entire life cycle. Ipco Managed Services. Hi. Managed services is not just about operations or support. Um, it's about getting into the customer's shoes, taking them ahead. Uh, it's about the cultural shift that we bring in into our services by having measurability, productivity and transparency to name a few. As a part of the managed services, we also bring in the policies and procedures uh, to our customers which will help them improve the service quality, bring in consistency and predictability so that every customer has a seamless experience of our services. We manage your entire solution from the cloud infrastructure to TIPCO platform to the application running on it. And our value addition is automation, DevOps, continuous integration, you name it, we do it. Managed service operation is just op support. Monitor some console. If you find something going wrong anywhere, give a shout to someone as soon as you can. No, not for us and TIPCO. In our monitoring framework, we leverage the capabilities of TIPCO Hawk. TIPCO Hawk enables us to configure rules and alerts and also allows us to create pre-authorized remedial actions like restarting of failed components. On each machine, we can configure the rules from rule bases and also check the alerts related to that machine. For us, monitoring activity does not stop at alerting the event occurrence to the end user, but our monitoring framework is also capable of handling pre-authorized remediation like log rotation and restarting of failed components. This is how we can check all the alerts for a particular machine. So all these alerts have been configured from rule bases and when the conditions in the rules are met, the system throws an alert. On the right side of TIPCO Hawk console, we can check all the alerts which have been categorized as high, low, medium, and also all the notifications which have been generated in the system. Apart from standard J console, J Visual VM, we leverage TIPCO Hawk and TIPCO Enterprise Admin Agents primarily for platform and application monitoring. However, for infrastructure monitoring, we use AWS CloudWatch alerts for AWS deployments and tools like Dynatrace, Nagios, and OpenView which are preferred by some of our customers. An error-free environment setup, configuration, and deployment process is a must to ensure reliable and timely releases. At TIPCO, our aim is to have maximum utilization of resources and minimum lead time. To achieve this, we focus on automation right from the development phase. Our automation framework allows us to provision error-free environments, which not only reduce time to provision, but also enhance the DevOps process by the way of standardization of configuration management. In order to have painless, faster and error-free deployments, our focus has always been on continuous delivery. Now this has multiple benefits like high quality, faster deployments, quicker releases, error-free releases, less effort spent, and definitely happier teams. Deployment. Yep, it's going fine. Our managed services team just doesn't stop by responding to or resolving an incident. They proactively look beyond that, trying to understand the root cause, trying to reduce the number of incidents or eliminate them and also to look at the stabilization of the application in general. We use best fit market approved tools for incident tracking. Incidents could either be reported to us by the customer or by our own team while monitoring the system. Our initial response to the incident happens once we are notified. In this particular case, I have received an email regarding an error in an event log 
which has obviously been fired because of a hawk rule base. Now do I get enough information from this email? The answer is no. So I obviously need to go to the tool that has raised this incident. So I go to the tool, I click on the particular incident and I try to go through the error description recorded there. In this particular case, the description is quite clear. I can easily see that the hawk rule which has thrown the alert was configured to monitor a JMSQ and that JMSQ has gone full because of a service. The earlier response is sent, the better. More than just sticking to SLAs, we want our client to feel assured that we are going to fix the errors. One or more team members then do thorough investigation by checking log files, audit trails and report generated by our monitoring tools. Once the root cause is identified, we propose a deliver by date and deliver a fix or a solution within that time. Of course, we also ensure that our solution goes through multiple rounds of unit and integration testing. The onus is on error-free and timely solutions. Incident management is about getting things right the first time. Getting things right the first time, every time. Sometimes an incident may have its root in a product-specific behavior. This is where the root cause analysis becomes even more important. Fortunately, we are supported by a really strong engineering organization. At TIPCO, our services delivery teams are co-located with engineering, the makers of our products. Each managed services engagement is supported by TIPCO product support and in turn by the product development. This is where these geeks sit and work, forever creating and refining the platform on which we deliver and manage solutions for our customer problems. There is an advantage in this, uh, unlike other service partners of TIPCO, we know our support team uh, personally and can have more uh, frequent and uh, productive interaction with them, which will help them to see the problem which we are facing and in turn they can provide us a solution and we can uh, communicate with them as and when needed. We meticulously follow a documented procedure to ensure all the changes occurring from an incident are properly recorded. These changes are then validated tested and finally deployed in all the target systems and environments. The goal of change management is efficient and prompt handling of the changes to minimize risk and improve quality. For effective change management and release management, configuration management is the key. And it's not just about versioning, it's actually about establishing and maintaining the consistency of the functional and physical attributes of the solution with the requirement and design. Throughout the solution life cycle, continuous delivery has three foundations, configuration management, continuous testing and continuous integration. That's why we don't limit ourselves to source code versioning and builds alone. We are a technology company. Our ability to successfully deliver managed services depends a lot on the technology competence of our people. And that's the reason the core focus of our people management group is on technology competence building for our teams. Continuous learning which includes classroom sessions, labs, boot camps, brown bag sessions. A comprehensive online portal, hackathons, off-site workshops. All TIPCO technology covering integration, BPM, analytics, complex event processing, Cloud technologies like Docker, containers, and CloudPass. Our strong technology and domain knowledge ensures that our managed services delivery to our customers is in a different league altogether. Lower risk, more proactive service delivery, faster time to market, and optimum cost for higher value. That's TIPCO Managed Services.